That was a rumble, by God. How do we fare? A fine purchase, no mistake. Now I think it's time to lay low and drive our way back into secrecy. Agreed. So, how do we get rid of this notoriety we've stirred up? Money, my boy. Well-placed bribe to the right government the homes, official. Captain. See the men. You're a wonder, Kenway. You've a knack for this kind of work. It ain't work if you love it. Ah! Ah! Scotch. But I ain't doing this forever, lads. Only until I get enough coin to buy some land and influence back home. <laughs> Jesus, will you listen to your tripe? Still dreaming on about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now. Ah, such lofty goals for you gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels. Fine purchase today. What's the crew's mood? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. Plantation? That's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. It's a good idea. Why, look, it's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, Kenway. Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. 
Most times they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Nice, nice. Is it a Mr. Backford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. I don't converse with dandy prats. Have you lost all? Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. It's a good harvest this year. You may not talk so loud, sir. This isn't anything like a friendly talk to them. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with a chap just now. We came to quite an understanding. <laughs> All up and done, well, boys. We're going home. You! You! Captain, can we? Captain, you have the look of a man crafting a bold idea. The look I've seen before. You mark well, Andy. I've just overheard one of the Bagford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping there. And it gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. Trouble of fault. I see them. Armored command, sir. There's loot floating here. I think we've lost them, sir. Making for us, sir! Kata! Colors are English! Seems to be alone, sir! 
Incoming ship! Guns out! Think she's a cutter! Royal Navy! They're all alone, sir! This man's working for Peter Bagford's people. Do you know them? The Bagfords and their sugar empire. Aye. The Bagfords and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked a plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juices. It's a hard process making sugar. Dangerous, too. It must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers and across the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it's time to boil away the water from the sugar. This we did in touches with the crop. Let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin, it'll stick like bird line and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. Stand there, Captain! Looks bad! It's a risk to anchor too close. The soldiers roving the plantation will catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jackdaw. such disarray. Bit of a do, sir, that's all. It's Wilmington's birthday. And you saw fit to get pickled on duty. It's no bother, sir. We have everything sorted. We'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, no, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed here, young man. By pirates, if my eyes on me. Though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. It certainly wasn't slavers, though. Not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. What the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? Forgive me, sir. I am fit and able. If I see any strangeness about, you'll hear the bell ringing straight away, I promise. To the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? And I'll hear no more complaints. The key, goddammit! Someone find me the key! You come back here, you man! 
Heaven's name. <clears throat> 